Do you cut it longwise or shortwise? It depends on the squash. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to figure out what to bring for lunch? Well, Stephanie and I are here for you. <laughs> we go through our refrigerator, our freezer, and we throw together quick and healthy meals so that we always have something for lunch that is good for our waistline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Stephanie, what did you bring for lunch today? So I'm doing like a spaghetti and meatballs, Ooh. but no noodles. I'm doing a spaghetti squash instead. So you can take one of these, throw it in the oven whole mm -hmm. on 350 for like 20, 25 Wait, you, minutes. you put the whole thing in there? Yeah. Like you don't even cut it in half? I usually put it in there for a little bit to okay. make it easier to cut through. Sometimes they're hard to get through, and if your knife is, isn't yeah. sharp enough, yeah. so you usually just cut it and then bake yeah, it. Yeah, but do you cut it longwise or shortwise? It depends on the squash. <laughs> depends on where. And sometimes I do it wrong the first time, but yeah. it doesn't matter because once it comes out and it's cooked, all you're going to do is shred it with a fork. And this makes it feel like you're kind of eating noodles, but you're not. I and it's a veggie. Squash. Yeah, me too. I mean, look at how it look. It look comes out looking like noodles. It looks like noodles, <laughs> and kids do not know the difference. Yeah, my they, the color is the same. Old and... father does not know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. Matters. So I love that you have this for lunch today. Yeah. Well, one thing too is that I always scoop the seeds out too when I cook it. Mm -hmm. After I yeah, cut I it do open, too. do you do that yeah. too? Okay. Do you do anything with your seeds? No, do you do you um, no. roast them? Some no. people, I think, roast them like pumpkin seeds. I've done, I've roasted pumpkin seeds, but I don't usually do spaghetti squash. It just depends on how, how I'm feeling in that yeah. moment. Yeah. Um, and then I have some Burger Fit burgers here to, for like my meatballs. Yeah. Um, also packed with veggies and then just some marinara sauce. And this makes it feel like you're eating spaghetti and meatballs, and it looks like you're eating spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah. But you're getting mostly. Um, mostly vegetables in there, some protein, and you can feel good about eating a meal that maybe you enjoyed growing For up. For sure. And you could throw like mozzarella cheese or something like that oh, too. Oh yeah, it, that would be delicious. If you, if you had <laughs> If it. you had some, yeah. <laughs> What'd you bring? All right, well, I'm obsessed with the Siete tortillas. These I haven't the tried them yet. Oh my gosh. Freezer section. Okay. I know you can get them at Walmart and at Kroger here in cool. Cookville. So I'm sure if we can get them here in Cookville, yeah. I'm sure you can get them anywhere. <laughs> but they have cassava flour tortillas as well. They're Sweet. amazing. Um, I, I like going with the almond one. So I've got a couple of tortillas. I um, went to my freezer <laughs> and I got some cauliflower rice and some broccoli. Um, but also had some canned black beans. Mm -hmm. So I threw that in here. Sauteed I, it? Just sauteed it um, with some coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Then I added some salt and garlic. And then I did some chili powder. And I, I got this. Chil this is Ooh. ahi amarillo. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, chili powder when I was cool. traveling one time. And oh, so I just cool. throw it in all kinds of stuff. It's really good. That's awesome. So I threw, threw that in there. Let it cook for a little bit. And then... I'm gonna, I've got some avocado here that I'm just going to kind of just throw on here. It doesn't have to be beautiful. Where it's going in our tummy. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, and avocado is good no matter which way yeah, yeah. you eat it. You can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. when, I, uh, when I need a snack, sometimes I just put a little salt on an avocado. Oh and so so this one is vegetarian. I didn't have any yeah. meat cooked and I needed something quick. So the the beans the avocado will be nice and and filling for me mm -hmm. so i've got this Just would you have done ground some... pork ground chicken ground all beef. of the above okay all of the above what's your go-to usually like ground this? beef really is because i always have because of burger fit yeah. i always have ground <laughs> so beef true. On Why the even ask? <laughs> in the freezer so yeah. um you know that's what we'll usually do i love this habanero yellow bird sauce throw Yellowbird some of this the on there that one's a little spicy for me. It's a little spicy. I, my nose will run. My eyes will water. It's, it's worth cool. it. It's worth it. Yeah. The um the agave sriracha is my favorite. Yeah, that Yellow one's Bird. really good. <laughs> so good. So that and then I just have some organic salsa. I think this one's mm. medium heat too, so I'll be crying later. <laughs> Need a lot of tissue <laughs> oh to make God. it through my day. And then I even brought. I knew I brought too much for the tortillas with this, but I'm. If I get hungry, I have this as a great, really simple snack to mm -hmm. help me get through the rest of the day. So you put it over greens? I, well, for today, I'm just going to eat it. Eat it straight. Yeah, just eat it straight. I didn't have any greens. So cool. this is where I'm at today oh, for lunch. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to get more healthy uh, lunch ideas, subscribe to us on YouTube, Cooking With My Friends, and follow us on Instagram, Cooking With My Friends Official. Let's eat. <laughs>